Hey guys, this is my Nicki Minaj tutorial from the video um, My Chick Bad by Ludacris. Um, yeah, and this look is obviously not the one where she's in the chair being all crazy, it's the one where she's like, you know, dancing and being in the background. Not, yeah, so <laughs> you can see this look. I'll put the link to the video in the sidebar. You can see the look a lot better at the very end of the video, like the last 10 seconds or so, really. Um, you can see it properly so that's where I, I got this look from um, so I hope this is kind of helpful if you wanted to know how to do this look and if you want to see how I've done it then just keep on watching <laughs> bye guys I've already done my foundation um, which was I've got a little sample of the Chanel Pro Lumiere so I just used my little sample and um, done concealer and obviously I've done the first eye so I'm gonna do the second eye and the rest of the face for you guys um, so I'm gonna start by doing my eyebrow I'm using the Rimmel professional eyebrow pencil in hazel um, Nicki Minaj's eyebrows that like you can't usually see them anyway because of her fringe and I've got a fringe now and I'm gonna I'll take it down at the end but obviously you won't be able to see what I'm doing if I put the fringe down. So now I'm going to do a base on my eye and I'm going to use um, Max Painterly Paint Pot. Looks like that. Put that all over the eye. So you want to bring it onto the eye as well. And I put quite a lot on because the look goes really, really bright. I'm going to use a white, this is um, Vanilla Shimmer Eyeshadow uh, from Maybelline, but you can take any really, really white colour, and I'm going to really, really pack this colour on, and bring it tear duct area and underneath. And then up to the brow bone as well. Then concentrate the colour more at the inner side here because that's where the lightest colour is when we finish the look. Okay. You want to take eyeliner. I did try it with gel eyeliner. What? I did try it with gel eyeliner and it just totally. Oh, it was a nightmare for me because like maybe I'd, I needed a better brush but so I'm gonna use my liquid eyeliner um, but you can use gel you know whatever eyeliner you have but this is easier for me so I'm using the Rimmel um, exaggerate eyeliner and by the way my nail color is cyan blue oh I put it away but it's Barry M cyan blue so if you wanted to know because some people are sometimes so first you're going to start off with a normal line but don't bring it, well when you bring it into here you only bring it to here not the whole way in and you want to make this line quite thin well kind of mediocre but not big okay and then you're going to bring the wing out like you normally would but you're going to bring it quite far out this is like the hardest part for me I messed up the whole line and then I was so gutted <laughs> and I had to start again so just I'm going to try and I hope I don't go wrong this time but yeah um, it is quite tricky that's the hardest bit because you have to find the right shape like this but that is suited to your eye because I tried to do quite a big um, big like cat eye flick and then it went up here and it was like way too big for my face and so that didn't work <clears throat> so basically you want to bring this point that you've made so it kind of goes it swoops down and upwards like back onto your lid uh, your crease I mean so I'm gonna try and do that and you don't need it to be a thick line at first, but we're going to thicken it afterwards. So. Can 
Okay, so I've kind of done that. I hope it matches. Then um, you're just going to carry along, yeah, carry on along the crease. Okay, so that's what I've got so far. It is a bit messy, but once you kind of finish it up, it does look a bit better. Then I'm going to take um, a small brush, because we're going to be doing like this out a bit. And I'm going to take a grey, the same grey I used in my Kim Kardashian tutorial from the Sleek palette. This one here. So if you've got any grey, just use that. This is slightly silvery grey. Um, and that's going to go just kind of from the outer half, but we're going to blend it. take um, a little bit of black, you can use any black, so I'm not going to show you what one I'm using, I'm just using the sleep palette one, um, just a matte black, just to slightly darken this uh, crease kind of area, so kind of just going to go along your natural crease, I'm not going into the corner here, I'm just doing my natural crease, make sure the white and the grey is like blended, and then I'm going to take that white again, add a little bit more in to the area. I'm going to take the white again just before I finish and add more to the um, brow bone. Use a Max Smolder Coal pencil and I'm going to rim my eye. Um, I just brought a little bit of the black down, like under here. Um, I'm not sure if she has, but just do it, eh? <laughs> See what happens. Um, so, right on the outer corner. Okay, next lashes. So, I'm going to use my um, CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara, and I was going to use these lashes. Um, just on the outer corner, but then they kind of um, showed up in the middle. And yeah, I really didn't want the lashes to show because in the video she doesn't really look like she's got false lashes on. It's mainly just about the shape and um, like the monochromeness of it, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm not going to use false lashes. You can if you want. And um, I'm going to just use my mascara. Sorry guys, I just actually like thickened this line and it actually made it worse, so, oh dear. Sorry if it looks a bit uneven, it's my bad. Got a little bit of this um, white cream colour base stuff, like this. Um, I've used it before, you've probably seen. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit in the tear duct area, just to brighten it up, because hers is very bright. Next I'm going to do the rest of the face and I'm going to start by doing um, the blusher because I've already done my base, my concealer foundation, all that jazz. So I'm going to use two matte blushes actually. I'm going to start by using um, Lady Blush Cream Blusher. Uh, kind of as the base as the, from the other. Yeah. <laughs> kind of as a base before I use the powder blush. Now I'm going to use... Um, Fleur Power, Flower Power, um, and I'm just going to put that on top. It looks like that, by the way. So her lips are kind of red, but not um, not really powerfully red, if that makes sense. Not a really bright red, but they're kind of, um, how do you explain it? So no, kind of a sheer red. So I'm going to use this lipstick from... Wet and Wild. I haven't really used it before. But it looks like that. And I'm hoping it's um, kind of sheer. 
So I'll put a bit of that on. Okay, then I've got the closest lip gloss to red I have is the Sexy Mother Pucker um, in Peach, Perfect Peach. So I'll just put this on top because she has glossy lips as well. Okay, so my fringe is down and so it's not black. Obviously her hair's like really, really jet black. But I just thought I could show you what it looks like. Um, I didn't cut my hair. I just, it's just extensions. Um, so that's what it looks like with a fringe a la Nicki Minaj. <laughs> so that is my final look. Um, if you like it, I know the lines are a bit thick. So obviously, well, it could just be my take on it, but maybe not do the line so thick <laughs> but I think as I kept doing it I kept like lining it more because I was trying to make it better so I hope you guys like it let me know what you think um and I hope it was helpful obviously you can use full slashes if you like so yeah and I know the lines are thick sorry sorry my bad <laughs> but yeah this is how it looks and um yeah, I was going to do the Bedrock video with the colourful eyes, but I was like, there's a billion of those already on YouTube. Um, so I thought it wouldn't really be helpful because there's so many that, you know, yeah. So <laughs> I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Sorry about my babbling. And um, rate, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.